up with a barbecue burrito. Barbecue burrito and Jojo is the was a chicken strip. Oh, it was a chicken strip. It was one chicken strip. Yeah. That's the meal. The breeds champions right there. That's <laughs> what that is. That's what fuels That's winners. That's what winners eat. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just a tourist. Just a fat tourist. Just a tourist. Just a fat tourist. Just a tourist. I'm a hiker. You're a backcountry hiker. He's a low hiker.
Nice five by seven. Got a little, little six back here. Got a devil tine there. Nice characteristic of a Roosevelt. Uh, wouldn't call him a monster bull, but he's no small bull either, so he fit. I got a spot for him. Got plenty of room in my freezer. I got a nice little spot on the wall. Uh, we came in here yesterday. It's been a been a challenging season. Been a little smoky, a little hot at first. Now wet and rainy. Uh, bulls been few and far between. Ones we have located have been in areas where virtually inaccessible. Um, had them super close and no good shot opportunities. Uh, located this bull yesterday evening. Uh, got dark on us. Uh, came back in here about nine o'clock this morning. Uh, searched for him and finally found him about noon. Uh, he's in a pretty tough spot. He moved up into these jack firs, which I hate hunting. But uh, we locate him. We moved down in on him and could see him out there a ways, which was pretty cool. Um, I was making a little bit too much noise coming down the hill, which was inevitable anyway. Um, so I had to give up my location to him and you know make make sure he knew that I was a, a bull up on the hill and not something suspicious to be concerned about. So that's what I did, and uh, he started coming in. So we had to boogie down the hill to get close to where it leveled off. Luckily enough, in here, uh, I found a little opening. It's about 25 yards wide or long. Uh, bull stopped at about 30 yards out, 35. I gave him a couple more bugles. He chuckled at me right there, lit me up, and I let him know right where I was. And he came walking right out into that opening. It was picture perfect. He was facing me. Not really quarter and two as much as I would like. I tried lacing that arrow in front of that shoulder. Uh, it looked good, you know, maybe a little left. I haven't really um, looked it over too good to see exactly what it was, but he went about 20, 30 yards and laid down. Um, he laid there for several minutes. I got in close and I put another one right in the lungs. Got the job done using the Valkyrie arrow system, the Jaeger broadhead. Um, it did, did the job. Uh, arrow disappeared full frontal. Um, he's still in him, as far as I, I know. Um, I'll have to try to retrieve that out of there. Yeah, uh, Botech Rain 7. 
did the job, got it done. Hey, Glenn. Thanks, man. Uh, looking forward to you to come over to this country. We got about a uh, 400, 450 yard walk back up the mountain, which is about 500 feet of elevation. So it's pretty steep uh, through this thick stuff. So it's not, not gonna be a pleasurable hike out. But that's what we do. We come in here, we get the job done, and no matter what it takes, we get them out. So uh, we have a uh, probably a long night ahead of us doing this. Well, we're gonna get back to it, man. <laughs>